Good morning, everyone. I am very fresh faced because I've quickly jumped on a call with the Karen Millen team this morning because we are, where are we now? Three collections ahead. Goodness me. <laughs> um, but I have just received a very, very, very exciting delivery from none other than Holly Willoughby from her brand Wild Moon. Now this sounds really, really lovely. The whole sort of identity of the brand is basically borrowed from the wild. I'm guessing it's gonna be very lovely fragrances. So I thought I'd have a sniff with you and tell you what I think. So they do like wax melts and I've tried to get into wax melts, but sometimes I find them a bit funny. However, this is an eau de parfum. You can't take from mother nature, but we can borrow a little of her magic here and there an invigorating, elegant scent created to capture the evocative aroma of a wild country garden after rainfall. The fragrance opens up with top notes of bergamot, geranium and blackcurrant before embracing an aromatic floral heart of jasmine, rose absolute and mint. The base of amberwood and musk warms and balances the scent beautifully. Wow, okay, that has me very intrigued. I think I can already smell it. What gorgeous little bottle. Very sort of simple design. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this, you know. Oh, wow. Oops. I've only just realised that the little tag, the little tassel on it is green as well. <laughs> I'm going to let that settle. But I think that is absolutely beautiful so far. Wow. I did not expect that. Oh, wow. I love it. <sighs> okay. Then we have the fragrance diffuser. This is again borrowed from the wild and we have the wax melts as well. So we've got a tea light, doesn't it look like we've got... So these are the waxing moons. So she sent some little tea lights. I think I'm in love. I'm going to see how many people compliment it today. I think that's always an indication, but I might also get one of these on the go from the wild so the only thing I'm trying to establish I've popped one of the wax melts on already is it seems like all three of the things that I've been sent are different fragrances but they all have the same name this is absolutely beautiful the the actual fragrance the eau de parfum is beautiful i'm literally going to put pop this straight on my dressing table but there seems to be variations but they don't have different names they're all just called borrowed from the, the wild so this one will have i think more lavender in it whereas this one is more of like a tomato vine fragrance this one has uh, amber and sandalwood so it says here that it's they are the same but it seems like they smell different so just trying to work this this out but I love it I absolutely love it I'll probably pour this into one of my recycled glass diffusers because I prefer diffusers that don't necessarily have branding on them um, but the wax melts I've got on in my kitchen I am finally finally ready for the day I feel like I have taken a million hours to get ready today because I've been trying to sort out everything for a little mini garden party that we were going to do for the Jubilee weekend however the weather is just not playing ball at the moment. I think on Sunday it's going to be as low as 16 degrees. It's going to be so cold. And Wednesday is looking like raining and cold. And so I just think at the moment it's not looking likely. The good thing is, is that everything I've bought is like not just for the Jubilee weekend, basically. So it can either be filed away or it can be used just for the season ahead, which is perfect for me. And also the planters that I'm picking up as well from Hello Petal are just gonna look lovely anyway, so it's absolutely fine. But I'm so sad. It wasn't gonna be like a big garden party, not like my usual ones that I throw. Um, just like a small one, cooking food, 
having a spread on the terrace, that kind of thing, some music, some rosé and things like that. I've got something in my eye and it's really irritating me. However, I have had some deliveries this morning. I've had some delivery of pieces from Oasis, some beautiful, oh my gosh, this skirt. I am utterly obsessed with. I think I'm going to put that on now because this dress is so restrictive on my arms. And then I got a dress in the same color. I think these belted are going to look so lovely, just really lovely casual pieces, but this can obviously be worn with jumpers or shirts as well to change it up. I've got this gorgeous dress. Dear Oasis, please make this in a midi or a midaxi or a maxi because these sleeves and this fabric is the dream. I actually just need to show you this a little bit more. Like, it's just like a beautiful, almost cotton-like wildflower little motif on there. Cute little fluted skirt. I love that. Then we've got another classic black linen dress that actually looks quite oversized, but on, it fits really nicely. And then a little bit more floral. This is a bit more, it looked a little bit more uh, muted in tone on the website, but I actually quite like these corally tones. And then of course, we've got some lemons. And this, I just thought, in fact, for days like today, when the sun is not shining, this is a really lovely silhouette, but in slightly more, obviously, not miserable colors, but darker, deeper colors. Like I'm someone that loves wearing black in summer. I think it's a real classic. And this black, it's almost like maybe black or navy. Could be navy. But this little navy backed floral pattern is actually something different from my wardrobe. Usually I'd go for a paler backdrop, but this just pops. Like those terracotta tones are so lovely. So I've had those delivered. I'm gonna try them on and show you each ind individual one and show you exactly how I style them. I've also had my first pair of um, English country grandma shoes arrive. Well, actually that's a complete lie. My English country grandma smart shoes, because usually she's wearing a pair of dewberries, but when she's not wearing her dewberries and she's pottering around her house, she's wearing these. <laughs> so I've dived straight in to the Oasis linen pieces and I love these because these are so versatile. Just like most of the things on Oasis, you can wear them elevated, you can wear them to work, you can wear them casually. It's all in the accessories. And this is a linen dress that you are gonna get so much wear out of. This could be worn to a wedding. Like if you were to add a beautiful hat or a fascinator, you've got a classic line, minimalist style wedding dress to the floor. You can wear it with heels or if you're more of like a kitten heel or flats person, it is so versatile. You can wear it for holiday, you can throw a linen shirt over the top of it. I've styled it up more casually because this is probably how I would wear it. This is a perfect, like weekend brunch outfit for me with sliders because I'll be super comfortable. It's got pockets as well. Um, big bag to throw my entire life in and then a belt because I just think the belt really elevates and breaks up the color a little bit, but you know what I'm like. I love a cinched in waist, but the back is just as beautiful. It's got this kind of race the back detailing as well. And the color is just, it's just everything. This really is English countryside grandmother vibes because you know that she's gonna have a white linen shirt draped over her shoulders, probably like a straw hat of sorts. And this is perfect for in the garden, whether she's hosting, whether she's at someone's house for a party. This is like my dream, dream day linen dress. And it feels wonderful. It's got a real kind of rawness to the linen. I thought I'd show you a little bit up close, like so. Those are my details. Oh, I started with the dress because I got excited, so I'm gonna try the skirt on now. <laughs> but I will link everything in the description box down below, along with any of the accessories, because I think that these pieces that I picked are super versatile. You can kind of wear them wherever um, suits you, and that is why I love shopping on Oasis, because you find things that, that basically you can elevate yourself. That is my favorite thing to do, is find a piece and I'm like, oh, I know exactly how I'm gonna wear that and how I'm gonna elevate it. I love it. So I'll link everything in the description box. This is the linen skirt on. This is the, the skirt version of the dress. And if you got both, you could take the belt off of this skirt and pop it on the dress if you wanted a more seamless look to cinch it in, but also provide it with a bit of structure. So this is a good option if you like both of these, but I just love this as a really simple day 
look but you could wear this if you're going to the office you could team this with a shirt a blouse even a blazer with some sort of green tones in it but for this time of year it's absolutely wonderful it fits so nicely as well it's a really lovely length good to go with white accessories as well no, there's nothing quite like a green linen with some white accessories and i popped it with my cute little uh, market basket bag from master chabran because i think that this is just a very what's the word it's kind of like a it gives it more of a relaxed feel than a work feel because i'm styling this up a little bit more casually i just love how this fits it's super lightweight but still such a timeless piece and something that will be able to be styled up really really easy in fact this will probably see you through into autumn as well because these colors are so great from spring right through to autumn oh i love this color so much oh such a me color i just blooming love it and obviously you can swap out this belt as well if you want to put in uh, one of your own belts you could put a like woven belt on here as well just something a little bit different this is another gorgeous linen dress. I say linen, it feels like linen, but it's, it's a linen blend, which usually means you get the best of both worlds because you probably don't get uh, so much like creasing to things. Now, I've actually styled this up first and foremost without a belt. I'd probably wear it with a belt, but I wanted to show you the shape without because it can be worn a little bit looser. Black in linen, I think is always a really good option for workwear, but I love black linen in summer, I just think it has a sort of understated but quite, I don't know, Parisian feel when it comes to summer. Um, it's not necessarily that airy fairy vibe, but I, I am always drawn to a little black dress even in summer, and this is no different. But I would personally do this, although I know that everybody is different and not everyone wants to do that, but for me, this just finishes off this dress perfectly. It's got really lovely darting detail over the bust. You can team it with a very affordable handbag. I love the size of this little wicker bag, it's perfect. It ties at the back as well, but it's just a really smart alternative to linen. You can obviously um, give it that more relaxed feel, but for me, you could just, you could style this so many different ways. I think that's the thing that I love in terms of linen feeling fabrics because they just have you just feel a little bit paired back but you can still achieve that smart look and this is no different cute wedges Woo! well it's not often that i go short but when it's this cute i cannot argue um i've basically teamed this dress with the most classic of accessories a wicker woven basket bag and some castagna wedges this is so adorable. Imagine the garden parties that this would look perfect at. There's gonna be so many barbecues. I'm literally manifesting it right now. So many barbecues, so many garden parties, lunches out on the terrace that this is gonna be perfect for, as well as going into London, especially with the changeable weather from spring and summer in England. You need to be ready for anything. So I always prefer to have my arms covered because that's where I get the most cold. But this fabric is so, adorable i love the amount of green in it it's like the most perfect amount of green um i don't know what this fabric is called but it's got almost like kind of like a, a faded polka dot and then this beautiful braided belt so many adorable design details but also just something that looks effortless comfortable a really really nice feeling fabric as well it's almost like cotton like but a bit softer this is the, always the kind of style that i go for i love all of my accessories and then buying something like this that i can just elevate with my accessories is my kind of dream outfit um you can also throw cardigans over the top if you need something a bit more warmer but also um, a leather jacket would kind of toughen this up a little bit so you've got that contrast of the quite girly floral pattern with the hardness of the leather jacket as well so yeah super cute well i definitely feel like this is one of those dark horse dresses that looks so much like more expensive when you've got it on the fabric of this is so beautiful so it's kind of like an organza so it's got great structure the volume in the sleeves instantly does all of the talking for you and then it's got the fluted hem at the bottom which means should it be a bit blustery in england you're perfectly safe because this is a little bit more not fitted but 
it's just got a more tapered silhouette and then at the bottom it's got that kind of flirtiness. I've teamed it with Castagna wedges because I think that they are a really good option wherever you're kind of intending on wearing this. There are so many events or even just like shopping. This is this could be worn as a wedding guest dress very easily. Like this is such an occasion piece. If you want to be a little bit more covered up, I know that um, I have quite a lot of girls that wear modest fashion and this is, I think this is one of those dresses that you're gonna love as well. So for me, this has so much opportunity and the color of it, think of this as like a really beautiful, cor not corally pink, I think you could go corally, but you could also go a bit more like fuchsia. There was a lipstick that I got from NARS like it was like my first expensive lipstick and I cannot remember what it was called, but that kind of like hot pink will just set this, set this on fire. It'll be so lovely. So I'll link this in the description box down below as well. Okay, I had to put this dress on next because I feel like this is um, the last dress's more dramatic sister. <laughs> this is pretty much the same silhouette, but on a black background and with more earthy tones running throughout. I think this would be really good for office wear and day wear, personally. I think you can get a lot of wear out of this one, but it's got that more dramatic print. I love the pops of blue throughout. It really like contrasts really nicely with the coral and natural tones throughout, but this is so adorable. I've teamed it with some black accessories, so I've gone with a uh, 25 Birkin Cellier, and then I've gone for some strappy Jimmy Choo's. These are probably my favorite style of Jimmy Choo's at the moment because they are just really elegant. Not too much of a squared toe, so they still feel um, quite timeless, but also really comfortable with this heel. And I think that this is, this is a really good option for just like everyday wear as well as going to work. So if you're like maybe going for drinks after work, you can go in this outfit and not feel like you're coming straight from the office, but still feel like you look professional and in line with your style, which this is very much my style. I love a floral. Now, I know I've had a little bit of a lemon theme going on in a lot of the dresses that I've been buying recently, but I wanted to find a slightly more affordable option because the two that I showed you a couple of videos ago were quite expensive, and there were a couple of requests for a more affordable version. This is obviously from Oasis as well. It has pockets and I've swapped out the belt that it comes with. It comes with a little lemon-like themed belt, but I thought that this would just be elevated so much by a simple white linen um, tie. I've said before, you can easily, easily make these yourself. You could even just cut a bit of linen. I think the raw edge would still work really well. Um, I'm barefoot because this is how I imagine myself wearing this in like Tuscany or somewhere like that. I'm barefoot. I've got my basket bag, which is full of rosé and some glasses and probably some kind of fruit or like lunch of some sort, some cheese, whatever. And I'm just living my best life and this is what I'm wearing. I think the slit is a little bit sexy. It's also not too high. So um, it just gives you a quick flash below the knee, which I actually think is quite nice. I just thought I'd show you the fabric up close as well. It's almost got a vintage vibe to this lemons as well. This is like, I don't know if you've ever seen when I've shown my nonna's tablecloth. Um, she has a lemon tablecloth and it is very, very similar in illustration to this. So I love it. But this is the last piece in this haul and I'm just in love. Like this, also it's not just for wearing in Tuscany, okay? You can wear this so many different places in England. If you're doing like a, I would love to hold like a lemon themed, like Tuscan, Italian themed lunch one day at ours and there would just be lemons everywhere. I'd get my lemon trees out and all of that good stuff. Yes, whether you're going to a party or whatever, this is just a really lovely option. And we were having this discussion the other day about like weddings and stuff like that, whether if it's got a print on it, it's okay. Um, I think, there are some wedding dresses that have prints on them, so you would have to check with the bride whether she's okay with like um, a white printed dress or a white pattern dress. But I think nowadays it's kind of changing. Maybe it's a bit old school to think like that, maybe because that's how I thought. But yeah, I think this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And the neckline is really lovely. That's something that I really like about Oasis pieces as well, is that they kind of walk on the edge of caution. Is that the, the same? So this is actually high, like it's quite a high neckline. So it's really nice. I feel like supported and actually this would have been really good for my old chest as well. I wouldn't have felt like I was so kind of on show. So everything's a little bit more demure, the slits are lower, the, the necklines are higher. 
So if you're into that, it works really well. So yeah, that's the last one. And I'm gonna put my green linen dress back on because the blue one that I was wearing earlier is so restrictive. So I'm gonna pop that on. And I've just popped the green linen dress on. I should also mention this comes in loads of different colors as well. So I'll link those in the description box down below. But I'm gonna pop on a shirt over the top of this because it is currently raining and um, just to give me a little bit more coverage. <laughs> everyone We've got a very sociable mr mill and gordon behind us on his phone with his poo bag <laughs> we are out for a morning walk and it is quite possibly the most beautiful morning and a really lovely temperature as well it's a little bit cold in the shade but for the most part it is absolutely beautiful the boys are having the time of their lives uh, running through the fields at the moment porter just loves it long grass is his absolute favorite um, but I left you yesterday because I was um, crashing and burning due to that time of the month. So I just gave myself the evening to lay on the sofa and read some more of my very, very lovely book. I'll probably do some more of that this evening as well, to be honest with you. But now we're going to head off. We've already had a PT session and we are now on a 5k walk. Aha! We have a proper path ready for us now. This is great. Come on, boys! It looks as though this path has been walked so much that there is now a path, so that's good. Well done, good boy. There's the farmer down there. There's Barcaline. Holding the fort at the back. But look at these views. I love it when it's this clear in the morning and you can see how far the land is around here. It's amazing. There's the wildflower meadow. Good morning everyone. I'm now looking a little bit more um, awake after our lovely walk this morning and also my PT session. It has been a bit of a busy one. Porter is putting the world to rights at the moment. He really is. He's just unbelievable. But um, I've had a bit of a busy morning in just in terms of like tying things up, but I have just made some last minute changes to my new car. If you remember, I um, ordered my new car Christmas time and um, it's on a like a long wait list oh crumbs we have this real issue with our driveway some people they just park at our gates and they come and they deliver stuff other times some people just decide to drive onto our driveway and I don't know why because it's so hard to maneuver and I think he may have just hit our gates with Ali there yeah he has <laughs> this is why we're getting gates either side of the house so that the dogs can't run around we've got We've got um, the guys here coming to sort out uh, our TV system because we have this really complex TV system and the moment that you mess with it, it all just kind of falls apart. So I, yeah, we're having that sorted today. But the guy that has just delivered the parcels and hit our gates for like the hundredth time, I literally said to Ali, I was like, I think you might want to go and watch this guy because he has so many dinks all over his van and he's doing a hundred million point turn on our driveway. But my boxes from, sorry, I was completely interrupted then, but we've got the guys here sorting out our TVs. But our delivery from Flower Box has arrived. Now, I ordered this the other day and a lot of the items here are from their Jubilee collection. And then they were gonna be delivered on Sunday, apparently. I didn't think they were gonna be delivered on Sunday though, because it's a bank holiday. However, I then got an email and they were like, can we deliver, deliver everything tomorrow? And I was like, this is perfect. I basically ordered a new wreath. It's a purple wreath um, to go on the front door because even though our one has dried out really lovely, um, I think we want something different. And then I couldn't resist these potted um, roses that they had. So I thought I'd just have a look. I've never really ordered anything from Flower Box myself. I usually like will send um, like friends, flowers if they've got like I don't know especially friends in work because I think they do like quite um statement flowers whereas I usually like more wild and botanical ones these are very like <gasps> elaborate so I'll send friends when they have like um exciting moments or whatever so 
Let's get into these, but and then I'll go through the changes that I've made with my car because I've been umming and ahhing about these things for such a long time. And initially the, the chain, well, initially the, the spec that we went for had like black badges and black wheels, which is what our car has now. And actually, I think that's a little bit too cool. If you remember when I ordered it or when we were going through the order process, I actually filmed the whole thing um, going through it with Marshalls, which is one of the dealerships. And you might remember when we were building the car, um, I said that I wanted it to look like the type of car that Prin Prince Philip would drive and wanted it really traditional, but in the new sense of the car. And I was looking at all of the sort of badges and I was seeing the new ones coming out on the road because people are starting to collect their new cars now. And I was seeing the silver badges and I was like, I really want the silver badges and the silver wheels. It's so much more typical of an old fashioned um, version of the car, the Land Rovers. And so I um, messaged the lady who's been helping me with my car and she basically was like don't worry you've not got a date yet for your car she is expecting to have my date this month but i don't know if that's for sure obviously i will vlog the entire thing but no it's not it's not coming in yet but we quickly made some changes so i changed the black roof to the belgravia green roof and i changed the black badges to silver and also the um wheels to silver so I've got the same type of wheel but just the silver version i'll show you how it's looking now and how it was before i've just been umming and ahhing about it but i was worried that it was going to delay things but to, but the lady has assured me that it's not going to anyway let's get into these boxes see how they've arrived get some things zhuzhed up in the house because i feel like i'm picking up my vlogging camera so late in the day because i've just been trying to tie up a load of loose ends ahead of um the weekend because we've got a long weekend jubilee weekend and i'm hoping to get my nails done tonight by alex so anyway let's get into these boxes so this is the wreath and this is from their jubilee collection Ooh. it does look more purple to me yes oh my gosh i love it basically our front garden i'll show you is all like purples and whites and i actually thought that this would be lovely it's a bit smaller than i would usually go for but I am actually pleasantly surprised by this. Comes already ready to hang. That is the purple wreath with a little um, velvet lilac bow. So I'm going to hang that up now. Okay, first of these boxes. Oh, for a moment there, I thought they didn't come with their pots, but they're not actually potted. So these, actually, I could pot these in my own pots. Snapped a little bit and it looks like it's a good drink. But I thought about these for a little center tablescape. These cute little potted white roses from Flower Box as well, just to sit on. And also, because we've got the white roses um, to the side of the garden, um, I thought bringing a little bit of this onto the, the terrace would be lovely. So I bought a couple of those. These would actually look really lovely in um, my dressing room as well. Then there's one more. I couldn't remember if I ordered three or two, but I definitely ordered three. Oh, they're so perfect. They're the little cute terracotta pots. I'm gonna give these a good drink and get them placed outside. So these are such an easy way to make a little centerpiece for a table. As you can see, they need a little bit of TLC, but they look so cute. So these are the changes that I made to the car. So these bits were all black and so was the little logo there. Um, and I've changed them to silver just purely from seeing um, the cars on the road and being like, mm, no, I want them like that. And then it's the same wheels as before. These were just black and now um, they are silver and then the roof was black. I've gone for the full Belgravia green color because I just think it looks less sporty and more traditional that way. So this is what I'm hoping is gonna be coming to me very, very soon. Also, I've just got changed into my lemon dress from Oasis. I'll link this in the description box down below because um, this weather is just so bizarre. One minute is so warm outside, the next minute it is raining, but um, I am, roasting up here so I've popped this on for all of the summer vibes because it is the first day of summer today and please ignore my tripod and shoes there I've been filming also 
this has arrived. If you cannot wait to find out what is in this box, then you can head on over to my TikTok because I will be wearing this tomorrow down to London. I will most likely be stopping vlogging soon and picking up the camera straight away to get ready for London because we are heading down tomorrow morning, checking in and um, I need to pack, I need to get my nails done. So all of that good stuff. I'm excited. I have a little bit more to show you. So this is um, some designs that have just come through from Nicholson's. We are starting just kind of, it's almost like a polishing up of the garden later on in the summer. And we want to introduce some gates to stop the dogs coming around like you saw earlier. They kind of run around the side of the house and onto the driveway. So we wanted it to be quite beautiful. So where we have the rose arch at the moment, we're actually gonna replace that archway, even though it's not an archway, with something a bit more um, gothic and traditional. It's gonna be oak and iron, and then we're gonna have the estate fencing gate on the inside of it, which I think looks really lovely. And that will ho hopefully will make sure that the dogs can't get through that, which is so nice. These are kind of some of the inspiration images, which is not so easy to show you, but this archway is was the main sort of inspiration behind it. And then this estate fencing gate is also really lovely. As you heard this morning, um, people keep hitting our gates and our gate walls. So I think what we're thinking about doing is actually changing the walls to hedges and um, adding some pillars instead and some um, lovely gates on those which I think will minimize this constant sort of risk of people hitting them. But I don't know if Ali's gonna go for it, but we'll see. Some more design inspiration for our kitchen, like outdoor kitchen area. We're going to use a lot of reclaimed substances and like woods and things like that to create this area. But I am super excited about this one. So this is our patio currently. And what we are intending on doing is knocking through the wall here down to the lower patio. We're also gonna have a full new patio fitted, um, patio like stone so that it's all refreshed because ours is a little bit knackered. And this is where the outdoor kitchen is gonna go and it's gonna be all um, lovely and I don't know, reclaimed, which I think will be lovely as well. We're also having all of this done, some path changes and adapting to uh, connect everything to the kitchen garden just so it feels a lot better and then down the side of the house there will be another gate here so this will be estate fencing um, and then a little gateway there although one thing I'm going to tell them it's going to need to be a big gate because sometimes we like park cars down the back here as well so just one small change there and that is about it and then down here is where the new archway and other gates will be as well so just little changes and then we're adding a little lantern roof to here and should be lovely. I am absolutely starving though, so I'm gonna make myself some lunch and get on with some editing in the kitchen with the little boys. You happy boys? You happy boys? Oh, sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. Right, I am finished up working for the day. As you can see to the left of me, there is a little loomy stretching, my gorgeous girl. Look at you. How are you so beautiful? You know, purring already. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a new jumper that I bought from Beaufort and Blake. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's one of their Breton stripe jumpers and it comes in navy and I need it. So I think I'm probably gonna order that one as well. I've got some old Levi's on, which are super comfortable and flattering. These are like a sort of mum jean style. Uh, Manolo flats large Birkin so I can throw my water bottle in there and a little bit of balm on my lips as well. I'm heading to Alex's to get my nails done now, ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna have to come back and pack, ready to go as well because we're going quite early. Fresh set of nails from Alex. Um, I went a little bit shorter with my nails as well and a little bit more rounded just for a cleaner look. I also got to see my goddaughter Harlow, which was just so lovely. And you know you've won them over when they start crying when you're leaving. Oh yes, godmother goals. <laughs> but I'm so happy with them.